There, how's that? That you should be able to hear fine right now. That was me. That was all me. I have so many cameras and microphones and headsets. This is just crazy, Doug. Doug, can you hear me now? You should be able to hear me now, right? On Facebook and on YouTube. Hi, Instagram. Thanks for your pay, hey, Robert Newstead. You hear me on Instagram. I know that, but I'm check checking out the, the Facebook and uh, YouTube. I need I need someone on YouTube. Let me know. Still no sound. I'm waiting for Doug here. Yes, you can hear me now. Okay. Thank goodness. All right. Well, that was a, a chaotic. I had I had three headsets. I'm wearing one, and I had the wrong one plugged in with a mute button, so it was all on me. That, my friends, makes me want to have a sip of my, oh no, my decaf coffee. We've had a great day so far. Go ahead and push record. Find them onto the iCloud for my Zoom classes, please. Push record on my Zoom classes. We've had a great day. Today's our Mighty Mondays. It's supposed to be a 4 o'clock class. Look at this. You guys have been patient for 23 minutes of me. This is my Fine Arts Academy families and my Draw 3D families coming together for my Mighty Mondays. I do Mighty Mondays webcast at uh, uh, with all uh, with the uh, with the technology when it lines up when the stars line up and I'm able to make it work. We go live at ten uh, ten o'clock in the morning Texas time at eleven o'clock and at. Um, Four o'clock or four twenty-three because I'm so lame with these things. And six thirty at night. I'll be back on again tonight, six thirty. And uh, before I go any further, so I won't forget, shameless plug. If you're enjoying these these live lessons, remember coming at summer art camp virtual. You have to sign up at my website at markkistler.com. You guys sign up at my website for my summer art camps. I have fourteen weeks of summer camps. Um, all right, so we're gonna do. We're going to do a turtle drawing, and I, this was inspired. I was looking back through my, an old these old sketchbooks of mine from 2007, uh, 2000, this is 2004, and I love this little sea turtle right here. Isn't that cool, little sea turtle? And it made me, it made me uh, uh, think of this turtle that's in my You Can Draw on 30 Second Book. And now whoever can find the turtle first... I know it's in here. I'm going to find it. Uh, Fatima, do you have your book? Did you get your book? Doug, you got your book. Tell me what page is that turtle is on in here in the book. I'm going to find it because I want to, I want to I want to draw that turtle, that cool turtle. <clears throat> there's just so there's so many drawings. Ooh, look at that tree. That tree's wonderful. And uh, look at that. That's the, the, this is the the tree lesson. Isn't that cool? All that stuff coming out of there. <clears throat> if you can, uh, anybody can find that the, there's a turtle in the book. There's look at the birds. Now, now it's a, now it's a mission. I've got to find the turtle. I was going to do this before I went live and then everything went crazy. Okay. This is cool. We're giving you a little tour of the Mark Kistler, uh, Fatima, Doug, J. Doug, look in your book and find the turtle at the bottom. To find the turtle, I'm gonna. I want to draw that turtle, but I gotta find it. I'm gonna find it. Look at all these pages and pages of drawings. Where is that turtle? Page forty-four. Uh, Doug, you found it. That was good, you guys. I had. Thanks for looking. I wasn't going back. There it is. There's the turtle. We're gonna draw that turtle, but we're gonna make him a tall turtle. I'm gonna give him some feet. I'm gonna combine that one with with. Uh, I'm gonna look at these books here because I'm gonna combine. The, look at that's a cool gargoyle. That's awesome. I I don't know if it's this one. No, it's not this book. And then I'm going to look in this one. I'm going to combine some some of these cool. Let's see if it's in this book. I go to the what's inside. Nope, it's not in that one. It's not in my robots and gadgets. These are on Amazon.com, by the way. Uh, let's see if it's in crazy cartoons. Let's see here. It could be in this one. Got to go to my 
index. And is the turtle in here? Nope. So, the, of course, it's going to be in the last one that I look at. Let's see. Let's see if it's in cartoon animals. Let's see. I bet it's in this one. There it is. That's funny. Page 12. Isn't that hilarious? Of course, it's the last, the last one. There we go. We're going to draw that totally tall turtle, that guy right there. All right, so I'm going to put that up here. I love it. I'm going to put my wood block to hold it down so it stays. I finally figured that out. Move all this out of the way. And let's, let's draw that totally tall turtle. Let's draw that totally tall turtle. So I'm going to move this down here. I want to get my drawing. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to start with a circle. And then I'm going to draw the turtle. I'm going to draw the turtle's neck coming back here. Okay, so we'll draw this turtle's neck coming down here. And it's, then I'm going to, uh, the turtle's going to be, Going his shell, the next thing to be going inside this shell. So I'm gonna draw this pretty big shell right here. Curve in the bottom. See, I'm just blocking it, I'm sketching it in here. I'm gonna zoom that in just a bit. And I'm gonna move the block so it doesn't cast a shadow. And I'll move that one in. Alright, so then so the four shorts in circle where the where the turtle's neck is gonna go in here. <clears throat> see that so and then I'm going to make the turtle's beak coming out here see this I start really really light you guys light 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 sketch 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 and then we draw very very it almost looks like a vulture's uh, nose here I think I'll shrink that nose a little bit. I think I'll shrink it. Now it's looking to no no stress, you guys. Remember, no stress. Stress is on the bus. Give yourself a you have a license to flop, you guys. No stress, no stress. Uh, stress is on the bus. Here I got to get my little stresses on the bus. Here it is. No stress, you guys. You make a mistake, just erase it and start again. Stress is on the bus. That's awesome. I see so much opportunity when you guys pick up your pencil and you start drawing. You guys are such geniuses. Everybody, take your finger in my Zoom class. Hold up. Take your finger and say, aha. Say, aha. Woo. You guys are awesome. You guys are total geniuses of drawing. You guys are Einstein geniuses. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to shorten up that nose a little bit because I made it a little bit too too much like a vulture. And then I'm going to draw the 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 eye, the near eye's large and the back eye's smaller. You see what I'm doing? I'm starting really light, sketch sketch sketch. And I'm going to put a four shortened circle here and a four shortened circle here. That's that's where we're going to be where the legs are going to be coming out of here. And I'll draw I'm going to make this a really tall turtle. That'll be the near and the back leg. It's going to be a cool, tall turtle. Now, I'll move my wood block so I can turn the page of the book. Moving on to the next page here. Oh, this is going to be cool. Look, you guys. You see, we're going to start adding all this detail. Then we go to the next step right here. And then we go to that step right there. Is that the totally tall turtle? Isn't that cool? Isn't that wonderful? All right. So let's continue our drawing hey uh, i want to wave to everybody that's on instagram with me we have robert and you said hi robert and we have anon hey all the way from india new delhi hello anon hello to hello and then we have kaker kakaret we have uh, mary curtis we have mike lun on thank you for being here we have Vic victor Ocho Ocho. I know I can't pronounce your names, but thank you for being here. On Facebook, who do we have on Facebook? Send me a comment on Facebook if you want me to shout out to you. Um, now, now watch this. The bottom of the feet, we're going to use the drawing direction compass. We use these words, the drawing direction, the, those 12 Renaissance words, and we use the, the what's super important is this drawing direction compass. These uh, lines that are the four positions that most artists use most of the time. And if you want to get a copy of that, just go to draw3d.com and it's a free copy. Click the printables 
and you guys can get that copy for free. So we're going to use direction northeast, northwest. So here's northeast going up here, and I'm going to have the the uh, the the shoe kind of block. It's going to be kind of this blocky shoe, and then this back shoe right here. So this guy, his shoe, look at his shoes are kind of go. See, they're going up in that angle in direction northwest. See. And there, I, this guy, this shoe's b disappearing back behind here. It's a, it's a shoe that's further back. I think I got to shorten that so you can see more of that back shoe there. And now on this guy right here, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do here? I think, uh, I wonder what would happen if I turned his back foot out. That would be interesting. What if I did this and turned his back foot out? Let me try that. I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to, I think I'll take his back foot and I'll have the back foot the kind of kind of pull out there and this will be the near foot. Let's experiment with the, these feet here. So I'll draw that the, the shoe there and then we draw that shoe going that way. That's kind of interesting having the feet go different directions. That's interesting. Now for this shoe, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them spats. These are these are a, a, a style from the the 1920s. They called these the flaps, right, on the shoe. They used to have like a rain a mud guard on the shoe. This is really old. This is before my time, and I'm old. So I'm going to draw a curve in the top. I'm going to draw these these uh, and then curve this down here. Draw these little mud guards here. Let's move that out just a little bit. I like how we just figured that out. I turned I turned it following the drawing direction compass. You see that? Isn't that cool? Do you love it? Isn't that fun? All right. It's going to be a little different from the one in the book. Okay, so now back here. So I'm going to put the, the foreshortened circle. I'm going to draw the thickness of the the uh, the the thickness of the shell there for shortening and I'll go ahead and I'll detail in the eyes and I'll draw that nose and that S curve the style overlapping so I start very very light you see what I do I start real light and I then I add the details I start really light, put the contour, put the wrinkles, and then I add the details. I'm going to put this this kind of neck bound here. And I'm going to have that, that he has a little, like a little mobile home there on his back, huh? Now back here you can barely see. So there's this foot. This foot's going to be higher up here. And you can see the other foot. See that? You can there's the other foot back behind here. And I'll put some spats on that one. And that one comes out. And I'll put the there's darken in that foot. Maybe put a little put a little uh sole down there. Do you like that so far? Little guy st standing there. What do you guys think? A totally tall turtle. Kind of a character. Now back here. Now a good thing we're recording this, so you can watch this one over and over again because this one's using a lot of alignment. I'm gonna th this back. If you can look here, the back. See what I did? I put a foreshortened square, so I can see where that back foot goes, and then I'm gonna draw the heel, and it lines up. So you're gonna see this. The back foot is gonna go this way. You see that? And I'll draw that the spats. I'll draw. There's that. There's the flapper on that back side there. And you see there's you can see the back foot. The fat back foot. Now I'm gonna put a shadow. I'm gonna darken in. I love darkening the detail. I love darkening the detail. These little feet here. And then let's put this shadow. This little fat it's kind of an interesting position, huh? I'm gonna put a shadow under his shoe here. Put a shadow, 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 and I'm going to put the shadow down here. 
Go ahead, I'm going to darken in that thickness. Contour. There's contour and placement. What do you guys think? Do you like this so far? Hey, we got... Uh, uh, you guys can make a comment if you're on Instagram with me. I don't like that light. Sorry about that light up there, you guys. I'm trying to get the, get rid of that light reflection. And I think I... Well, no, I lost... I lost the picture now. Interesting challenge here, guys. Getting all this camera angle and trying not to have that light reflection. At the same time, I want to be able to see. It's always a challenge. Now, I wonder why sometimes I, I don't I see that light reflection. Sometimes I don't. Let me go higher. Hey, that's it. I just have to put it, put it up higher. Well. Always a challenge. All right. Thanks for being good sports and putting up with me doing these. That's the joy of live, right? All right. So we've got this interesting little, we've got this interesting tall turtle here. I'll darken inside there. He's carrying his little camper shell, his little mobile home on his back here. Isn't that fun? And uh, looking cool. So Mario and I, we're looking for a, a little uh, ultralight trailer to camp, to, to pull behind our our, our, uh, our minivan. So we're looking for something that's 3,000 pounds or less. If you, you Hey, you, why not? You got to put it out there to the social media world. If you guys have a trailer, you guys want to uh, get rid of. Hey, donate it to Mario's. Uh, Go fund me, and we can go camping and go. We'll do lawns across America. I'm gonna put a little tail back here. We're, that's what we want to do. We want to load up his lawn equipment, and he wants to go across America doing uh, mowing all the people's lawns that have supported his his GoFundMe page. Um, I'm gonna put. What's fun about turtles is the, the beautiful pattern on the back. I'm gonna put some this the, these. This just a rock slate, just this wonderful pattern coming down here. Some big, and then some small, some big patterns, right? And then just take your pencil, and I scribble the pattern, and then I'll darken it in here in a second. You see, you just put different shapes. And then what I'll do is I'll go in between... And I'll darken in that pattern, and I'll put some uh, shading and shadow to really push that out. Uh, thank you, Fatima, for finding it on page not forty-four that the turtle reference in our book. Here's my here is my uh, shameless plug for my art for my art camps, and I hope you guys download the drawing compass. The drawing compass is on. Draw3D.com. The Renaissance words are on Draw3D.com. Go to printables are free. The 99 levels of drawing success are on Draw3D.com. Go to Draw3D.com, and here's your 50% off code. It's usually a $200 membership. $99 for the family for a whole year. Plus, you every Monday during the school year, you get uh, Mighty Mondays Live, September through May. And then June, July, and August... I do live summer camps all summer. It's really cool. I hope you go to draw3d.com, click one year membership, and click the 50% off code. It's really, really awesome. Also, if you guys are uh, wanting to get some of my books, go to my website. You can get any of my 12 books that I've written, and I'll autograph any book you order. I'll, I'll autograph them. Uh, this is my, my, my most current, my favorite. Here's my, uh, my, there's my, uh, my e my website order from my website it's right there at the bottom of the page 30 you can draw in 30 seconds these charts that i'm talking about you guys they're right here look they're right here the drawing compass and the 12 renaissance words and the 99 pencil power level pretty cool i hope you guys get that okay it'll be really cool now i wanted to show you this this is michael colnero amazing artist he donated to my nonprofit 
Look at this. Check this out. He donated this art piece, and he gave we have we the twenty prints, you guys, and I, I think I have two prints left of this. Uh, donated this. See that? Isn't that awesome? The he he did the Mount Rushmore, uh, with uh the nineteen eighties PBS icons with Bob Ross, me, Commander Mark, Lavar Burton, Reading Rainbow. And Mr. Rogers, go to my website at markkissler.com. You see, it's an 11 by 17 print, and it's just it's just delightful. And um, if you guys want to check that out, it's just super neat. Check out, you can see a better, bigger version of it. <coughs> All right, I'm going to put the, give this guy a hairstyle. You got to give this, uh, you know, I have a lot of people say that when I draw my characters, there's a lot of Dr. Seuss. And it, and I I've, I'm so flattered because Dr. Seuss is one of the greatest illustrators of all time. And my, of course, Chris Van Alsberg and uh, uh, Michel Gagnier and uh, Lynn Johnston, Bill Bill Watterson, Calvin and Hobbes, and um, Steve uh, yeah Steve Kellogg uh, the and um, oh my goodness Susie Spafford. I have so many favorites, right? I'm going to put uh, some shading. Like I'm going through here. I'm going to tone it in, shade it in for our totally tall turtle. Put some shading up here. Isn't that fun, you guys? Did you love it? Love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead. This is, uh, I'll put the title. of it. This is Mark Kistler. That's me. Mark Kistler's. Woohoo! Mark Kistler's. A live daily Zoom, daily Zoom, and this is our Mighty Monday 4 o'clock drawing session. Mighty Mondays, Mighty Mondays, 4 p.m. I'm so glad you guys are here with me today. And uh, it is our Fine Arts Academy of, this is week 37 after we've been going for 37 weeks of 41 and then we pause for the summer for my summer art camps can you believe it you guys you've been drawing with me for 41 what does it mean to be flattered Fatima sent me a question on zoom what does it mean to be it means uh uh flattered it means i feel good it, it makes me feel good um when people it's like hey you have very nice hair your hair looks nice today or hey uh your shoes are terrific or for me hey you're such an amazing handsome teacher you know that's i get that like all the time <laughs> i'm totally fishing here i just saw doug doug on zoom go like the, he gave me that look like oh there he goes again he's going oh i'm so embarrassed i can't what it's what what crazy thing is mr mark going to say next i'm so stream of conscious i sometimes i say stuff and then I think about it when I'm riding my bike or something. I'll think, I can't believe I said that on live. I was webcasting for the world, and I just said the craziest stuff. Why was I talking 20 minutes about my favorite decaf coffee creamer? I don't get it. I don't know why, but that coffee creamer was so important during that lesson. All right, guys, there is our... There is our... And I had some people talking about my breathing, saying... You breathe too hard, blah blah blah. Well, I, I have, um, uh, I have chronic breathing issues. That's why I've been so absolutely terrified of COVID, catching it, because uh, I have very, very challenged, very difficult breathing issues. So, <clears throat> thank you for your concern and for your comments about it. But uh, I'm doing everything that the doctors tell me to do, and I'm still out there riding my bike and taking long hikes. I'm using my blender. I'm shading here. Look, I'm shading, blending. Shade, shade, shade. I love the blending stomp. I just love. See that? It's like a paintbrush for your pencil. Isn't that cool? All right, let's put, let's put a, a horizon line back here. Let's put a horizon line back here. Way back in the background. And then... You know me, I just, I always love to put a little sky, a little value back there. So I take it and I put a little, put a little sky, put a little value. 
Uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a round robin. I wish you guys on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram could see all this. Let's see. Uh, hey, I'm still I'm still going on Instagram. That's cool. Hello, Instagram. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Robert Newstead, are you on Instagram? Now here we have uh, Jeff just said, hey, that's why we love you. Well, thank you, Jeff, for that comment. Uh, look, uh, Andrew said, if I like Dr. Seuss, look up these paintings. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to have to check them out. Thank you for that. All right. Well, there's there's our drawing. Go ahead and sign your name to your drawing, you guys. Sign your name. Put the date today, which is four twenty six twenty one. Let's see, Fatima. Do you want to do a shared spotlight on the recording with Robbie and Doug and you? And Sawdust, you guys, are, if you're on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, it, I sure wish that you could see these student drawings here. Well, there's there's Mr. Doug. Hi, Doug. I love your drawings. Mr. Feller, fellow sailor. Doug Doug built his own sailboat with his own two hands. Fatima, share a spotlight, please, with uh, Robbie. Just put add spotlight. Robbie, hold up your drawing, Robbie. Robbie's got all his charts up in the background. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful, Robbie? Okay, Fatima, put yourself up there. And then let's see if Fatima's drawing. Oh, that's great. Sadas, do you want to come on? Sadas, do you want to come on and show us your, your drawing? That's nice, Fatima. Very good. All right, uh, Fatima, go and save that recording. Thank you, everybody, for drawing with me tonight. I'll be back at 6.30 in an hour and a half for another drawing. Uh, and I say, I'll say goodbye to you guys on Zoom. Bye, Zoom. Thank you. I'll see you tonight at 6 30. So I say goodbye to Zoom and I'll say goodbye to Instagram. Thank you guys for drawing the tall turtle. The tall turtle. I know I just switched my phone. That should uh, give you a little moment of pause there. And I'll share it to ITV. And I'll put next. And, all right, let's draw a totally tall turtle. All right, there's my title. I'll put it to the series of you can draw in 30 seconds and done and post. I have to do it right away because I always I'll, I end up losing. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoy drawing the turtle with me on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, I wish you a pleasant evening. And if you want to draw more with me, log in again at 630 in about an hour and a half. Bye, guys.